Now we've already kind of seen that Excel can help us in a data warehousing environment. In this particular module, we're going to take a closer in-depth look as far as what Power Pivot can do for us. Now, first of all, as always, I'm going to kind of pick up my SQL Server Management Studio. And within my SQL Server Management Studio, I'm going to expand on my databases and I'm going to expand on my AdventureWorks DW database. And this is the database that I'm going to use for my Power Pivot demonstration. So let me go ahead and minimize this. Let's go to Start, All Programs, and go to Microsoft Office. Just so you know that Power Pivot is an additional install or additional add in within your Excel spreadsheet. Now I'm going to come down here and I'm going to select Microsoft Excel 2010. I'm going to bring this down here into the mid part of the window so we can see it just a little bit better. Now, what we have here is because I have made Excel such an intricate portion of my data warehouse environment, I can see that I have these add ons of data mining, master data, which we've kind of already seen, and Power Pivot. So I'm going to go ahead and select Power Pivot. And then under Power Pivot, I'm going to come over here and select Power Pivot window. This has opened up a completely different screen. I'm going to move the screens around just a little bit here so we can see things a little bit better. Now you'll notice at the very top it says Power Pivot for Excel Book 1. It's kind of important that we see the specific book. Now because we're using Power Pivot for Excel, we have three options to grab our data. We can grab our data from a database, and if I hit the drop down box here, it can be a SQL Server database, an Access database, or another Power Pivot Excel spreadsheet or an analysis services project. I can grab my data from a report. This report would have been created through RDL. I'm going to go ahead and cancel out of this for now. And then I can also grab my data from Azure Marketplace. Azure Marketplace is a product that Microsoft sells that they allow you to store your data warehouse in the cloud. And it works on a subscription basis. So you can subscribe to this product. They would store all of your information in the cloud and they would do all of the management for you as well. So really we have three areas to grab our data from. So let's go ahead and get it from a database. And I'm going to select it from a SQL Server database. And we're going to give it a server name. I'm going to call this localhost. Now I can also give it a friendly connection name. And so we're going to call this ADW Sales Data. Now it's going to say, well, what database do you want to connect to? And I'm just going to hit the drop down box here and AdventureWorks DW. And as always, I highly recommend that we test the connection. So we're going to do that now. The connection succeeded. Now let me click Next. Now it's going to give me the option. It says, do you want to grab from a list of tables or do you want to write a query? In our particular case, we're going to go ahead and grab from a predetermined set of tables. So let's go ahead and click Next here. Now there's two things that you need to note here that are very, very important. First of all, these are your tables over here on your left, but select related tables. That's very, very important. What will happen is if there's any primary or foreign key constraints out there, it will automatically bring those in. And I'm going to go ahead and do that because I think that's quite important. So I'm going to select DIM product and DIM product subcategory. Now watch this. If I hit select related tables, it says one related table was selected. So it actually brought in DIM product. Now the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to pick up fact internet sales and fact finance. Again, I'm going to select related tables. And now it brought in 11 related tables. So I highly recommend that you also select related tables because if you select the related tables, then you don't have to worry about any of the primary foreign key relationships. It will automatically do that for you. So now I'm going to go ahead and hit finish. And what's going to happen is it's now going to do like a little mini export import wizard. And it's going to extract that data from that specific source and then bring it into your Power Pivot view. The whole point of the Power Pivot view is it enables us to do some of these KPIs, key performance indicators, the measures, the measure groups within Excel spreadsheet. So we don't necessarily have to create a SQL Server Analysis Services project. We can do it all self-contained within Excel spreadsheet. And that is the advantage of Power Pivot. Power Pivot is the Excel add-on to give us those dimensions and those cubes and the KPIs. So we see this data is being transferred. Now at the very bottom here, it's preparing everything. It's loaded all the data, so now effectively it's preparing the Excel spreadsheet for us. And depending upon the amount of data that you're loading, it could take a little bit. So now let's go ahead and close this. Now when I close this, you can see it brings in all of the column headers as well as gives me drop down boxes. Now here's one thing that's kind of cool. Let's say I come over here to account type. 
and let me hit this drop down box here. And you know what? I don't want all of the account types, so let me deselect them all, and I only want expenditures and liabilities. And I can scroll down here and see what else I have. So if I click OK, what that does is going to filter all of the accounts out. So I'm just going to see the liabilities and the expenditures. And then I can just use my normal Excel and tab to the left or the right to see exactly what other information that I want. So here, what we can do is we can see all of these other columns that are available within the Excel spreadsheet. But now, here's a couple of different views that you can look at. First of all, this has given us the data view. If we want to come over here and take a look at the diagram view, we select the diagram view, and what's going to happen is it's going to display it to us in like a little mini ERD. So it's going to tell us the relationships between all of the tables that we've brought into Power Pivot, and then it's going to display the hierarchies, the measures, the columns, as well as any KPIs. So that's kind of a cool little view that we can have here. Now I'm going to go back to the data view. But now here is the really neat thing. I can come over here and I can create pivot tables. So I'm going to go ahead from the drop down box and I can create a pivot table or a pivot chart. Here I'm going to go ahead and create a pivot chart. When I create the pivot chart, it says it can be based off an existing spreadsheet or a new spreadsheet. I'm going to select this off an existing spreadsheet. And then over here, it says these are the fields list, and I can get the vertical slices and the horizontal slices, and I can give filters and legends if I want. So I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to expand on fact internet sales, and I'm going to go on PO number, and I'm going to go on order quantity. Let's go off of total product cost, and then I can have things like unit price and discount price. So you can see. At a glance, it can easily create a little pivot chart for me. And here it gives me this little legend. The green legend is the sum of the unit price. The red legend is the sum of totals. And it's going to break it down by customer PO. So very, very quickly, I can create these charts and these graphs based off of the data that I brought into my data warehouse. Here I can save this and then I can save it and I can place it and I can distribute it to however I want. I can also go out and I can create my KPIs and my measures and my metrics and everything that I want from that as well. Now here I've got the access fields of the customer PO, and then I also have the sum of orders, and I can expand this and get a better view of it if I want as well. So the whole advantage of creating a Power Pivot view is within a Power Pivot view or a Power Pivot window, I can bring data in very, very quickly. Then I can go out within that, create Power Pivot tables and Power Pivot charts, and very quickly, at a glance, look at the summarization of my data. And if I need to, I can save it and then distribute it as need be. So what we can see is Excel and Power Pivot are very important parts of our data warehousing in a SQL Server 2012 environment.